Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my let's play of Sword Coast Legends. I am roaming around all stealthy like, trying to figure out what's going down. Why all these terrible enemies are here. There's a vampire spawn mage times two. Some zombies and other various random, probably bad things. I can't walk, I can't get discovered before we take on this fight. So, what I'm going to need from these guys is, well, it's really quite simple. Need that out. This should be At great. Have to cast that. Have them go focus on the zombies. And then once that begins, we're going to go and deal with... Oh, boy. We have been spotted. Uh-oh. I said we have been spotted. It's not great. I want a Lydia down here. I don't... I don't know at this point. Of course. Lydia, can you throw a heal on her, boy? Oh, this is... This is going badly. This is going really, really, really not well. Yes. All right, we definitely need to defeat you. So Gotta get you broken you out of that. Something? I don't know that we can even do that. Right. It looks like maybe. Yes. Larathar, buddy, you gotta do something. <laughs> Go over there and attack him with everything you've got. Oh, he vampire he vampired himself up. Can I do for you? What? Going to heal. Okay, so we took him down. What is it you require? Oh, I don't want to keep moving forward. It's just gonna get bad. Our bears are fine. Hamet can probably move over here. And then Hamet can probably do something like that. Big spell coming! Well, it's going to be one fight after another, I suppose. Alright, we're going to move in. Can I don't I know, Hamid, I have no idea what your plans are, buddy, but good luck. If you we're all counting on you. Sounds like a plan. How did that make you feel? Yeah, how did that make you feel, buddy? Oh, I guess our healer can... Probably just do a little bit of healing there over here and we survived it oddly with very little problems there are a few scary moments but I mean grand scheme of things not so bad it was a pretty good trap not gonna lie it was a fairly well thought out and well executed trap to be 100% honest all right so what we need to do now Just kind of stealthify you. Get you to come over here. And get you to just to attack him this. without Larithar right. breaking stealth, hopefully. Big spell coming. If you say so. Incoming! Excellent. And essentially, we just got through two quests. Oh, I thought he was running after somebody. I'm like, we just got through two quests without losing our animal. He's gonna. That quest, Sounds two like fights, I apologize. Two fights without our animal just getting massacred. I mean, that's pretty good. A spetten. A spittoon. A spetum? A spetum. Sure, why not? Alright. Sure. Right. Yeah, yeah. The poor little bear is gone. Those bear necessities are no more. Oh, I perceive something. I wonder if I perceive something else, because I heard like a sound before that sound happened. This place is pretty large, I'm not going to lie. It's one of the larger, more roomy dungeon type areas. If you say so. Sounds like a plan. I assume there's going to be like a trap here. This looks like the perfect spot for a trap. Skeletal sniper and all sorts of other things. Well... I suppose I can step to here. What can I do for you? Man, they break quick.
I can do that. Sounds like a plan. At your service. All right. Get him. All right, necrotic infusion. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go back in. Take down the necromancer. Yes. Lydia and others do what they got to do to stay alive. All right, Lydia. I think you should chuck some food at your boy. Get down. I think maybe lightning striking wouldn't be terrible. Heads up. Need some up. And I think maybe he should go into the stealth mode. Where's the archer? Oh, right there. I'm totally blind. It's fine, guys and gals. Not a big deal. Swap weapons. Slash them to bits. There we go. Yes. Right. Works right out. Away. It's working out quite well, actually. Man. Yeah, yeah. They sure pack a lot of nasty little guys into Sounds one little like area, don't they? They're like, oh, you want right. to go explore our library? Huh? Sure. Explore our Lyceum? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you you're gonna so. suffer for it. Oh yeah, we're in the deadly like traps bit. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, we're in the what bit? Ooh, what's that? A dusty tome stands out. Alteration Observations Volume 1. So, we haven't read two of the lore things lately, so let's go ahead and do that now. We have the vellum note, so let's go ahead and read this one. Maybe. There we go. This note was used to wrap the cross guard of a dagger and bear the words to my second daughter, may light shine on you always. Even though you are different, you'll always be my favorite. Represent the clan with all your heart and you'll find peace. Actually, we had read that before. However, what we haven't read before is this one. So let's do it. A Comprehensive Guide to Alteration Magic, Volume 1 of 3, written by B.H. Big Harry. That's right. Big sure. Harry. What do we got? What do we yeah, got? What do we got? What do we got? Nothing? Potion of Greater Regeneration and some Dale Cheese. Sounds like mm -hmm. a plan. Mm -hmm. That does sound like a plan. And a tasty treat. Most, mostly the treat thing is what I what care is about. It but, you, you know. Require? Whatever. What? All right, looks like there's a door ahead of us, which is fantastic. That means I can actually spend the time to clear out All the rest right. of the area, knowing that we actually have another Chill. place to go. Oh, did the door open? Oh, looks like there's going to be a puzzle, and everybody knows how much we love puzzles. How may I serve? All right, the dog creature thing is gone. Uh, I guess we're all gonna go over here. Come here. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see what's it's behind a door number. Well, it's not really a door at this point. It's just another hallway with potential enemies, which may or may not see us. Don't do so well against the undead. It's also fire. Huh. Neat. Sounds like a plan. Okay. So. By your leave, what we'll say is. At your service. We want everybody. Down here. I Yay. Oh, wow, this is a little hurts. bit more scary than I anticipated. Oh. It's not going to work. Gonna do this. I'm here to help. Got to do this. Yes. And is it possible that you can pull him from up there? I don't think so. But we're gonna try it. Some healing would be nice. Nope, it did not work. Okay, so here's the rub. Something I can do. There is actually. You can put the vampire thralls to sleep. I, I think I'm dying. I think you're not wrong. What oh I boy, I also think that's way too quick to try to heal people. 
You got to lay on hands on yourself, buddy. And I think Lydia's gonna have to do the AoE heal. I'm at live. All right. I can do that. You're gonna have to get up there, Scytherin. Do I, do I don't know how you're gonna do it, but you're gonna have to figure it out. I got it. I feel like the sleep thing did not work. What is it you require? Right now. All right, Olivia's trying to handle it. You are slashing your way to victory on that side. You're doing okay on this side. We need to spawn ourselves with another animal. We need you to heal yourself. So you're getting destroyed right now. How may I say? And yeah, you skeletal snipers need to get slapped around and owned a little bit here. Help! What can I do for you? Or just don't be stupid. Then you probably won't need help. Oh, speaking yes. of stupid, what are you doing, Homs? I hear you. Oh, Lydia, you can you? Something. Sure. Of course. can you make it past that point? You can. Alright, so we did it. But boy, howdy, was it close. Alright, the skeleton's going down slowly. Does lay on hands affect undead? No. Because usually when you have uh, some sort of regeneration spell or skill or ability, right, it heals them. Hey, we got our level up! So apparently we've been getting quite a bit of experience for all this. I am in your debt. By your leave. Whew! Well, that was a bit more intense than I was actually hoping for, but... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Did the trap stop? Oh, boy. Oh, What's it's that? just a silly creature. Ooh, a great axe of sparks. That sounds fun. It's, it's okay, I guess, at, at best. Anyhow, I leveled up. It's time for me to get my points on. Alright. So we've laid on hands all the way down. What is this? The Aura of Vitality? Uh, divine energy from the caster in 8 yard radius in all directions for the next 20 seconds. The aura moves with the caster. Allies heal. That was what I was going for. That's why I did what I did. And then likewise, sacred weapon. Deal with positive energy dealing 2 to 5. I know that one. I can't do this one yet. Uh, branding smite. Wreath of the weapon with astral radiance. Eh. Probably not bad, to be honest, but we'll, get, we'll come back to that. How about Revivify? It's, it's weird. Not gonna do that either. Uh, protection I don't hate. Because we're using, you know, shields and whatnot. Can't do Shield Rush. Or Shield Wall at this point, but that's okay. I would like to not miss. But, at the same time... I feel like most of our missing is due to, like, different level changes, so we can't really deal with that. So, I feel like I probably need to get a skill improved beyond what I already have, or... Or, I'm not even sure. I mean, no, not even Revivify. Bless and Aid are both kind of meh. Like, we already have Bless. We don't need Bless times two. Well, this is kind of poopy. Well, I guess we're going to get the next tier of Aura of Vitality. So we're just going to get that maxed out right away. It's, it's not my ideal situation, but it, it's okay. It, it works. I do want it. And the more the healing, the better, obviously. Uh, where did that get At put on my sense. bar? Right there. Let's move that in. Of course. Did I actually drop those, or they were rage potions, if I if I recall correctly? No, I just put them off my bar. All 
and it lasts for 20 seconds. So that's really how I should start the battle. Okay, well, before we do anything else, let's get Larathar back into Larathar walk around and do cool stuff mode. Yeah, yeah. And we'll continue from there. If you say so. I do not believe there's anything special up here. Sounds like a plan. For Larathar. Alright. Oh, there's a scorched yeah. spring inside of him. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it does, but I guess we'll figure it out. Ooh, 25% fire damage resistance, and you deal fire damage to attackers. I feel like it's not that great. I feel like that's not that great either. What do you have, buddy? Intelligence, and that was a cantrip damage, yeah. Constitution save. That's not bad. So let's see here. Loop, dexterity saves, and a cooldown reduction. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I think that's okay. I think that's a bit of all right. Sounds like a plan. All right. All right, what else we got here? Sure. A giant statue. Huh. And some smaller statues. And a door. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and what is this thing? An alchemy bench with bottles of various colors. If you say so. Well... You come across a table with various tools and components for mixing potions, as well as three vials of colored liquid. Try your luck. Looks dangerous. Just leave this alone. I think the int is, again, it's only for my main character, as which, if I recall, he's not so smart. Nope. It's his lowest score. Alright, we're gonna do a quick save. From the Journal of Maffarel the Gravewalker, Nita, Morning Child, my fourth pupil was, well, a walking irony. Okay. Her name belied the darkness within. Uh, Leonid the Reacher was my first ward, and the most promising of them all, wielding the powers of death as of second nature. My third student, Goris Steinchaser, was an unconventional and immature lout, but he commanded the voice of the grave like none other. The second to join my flock, uh, Taralin uh, Thelanamar, sure, was a half-elf with some previous training in the art, and thus, despite his power, he never settled into the discipline I require. Though my students thought me cold and distant, remember these four exceptional pupils helped me continue my work through darker times, and I remember them still. Oh, okay. Oh dear. Uh, what's this one do? Oh. Well, don't do that one, I guess. Right away. Get over here. Larathar, get on this guy and take him out, please. Over here. Help. You're fine. This guy should go down, and he did. Now you get over there and you take care of that guy. Larathar, just heal yourself, buddy. You're fine. And wreck. That hurts. Yes. Is everyone okay? At once. So I did that. Looks like there's another one on the other side that I'll need to do at some point. Well, let's get that out of the way, I suppose. They are persistent. Vampire thrall and zombies. That's it. It's overwhelming. Quite underwhelming, to be honest. Incoming! Maybe the most underwhelming of all time. This should make quite an impact. What is it you require? A Lydia leveled up, but not Larathar? How is that even possible? Didn't they join at literally the same time? I feel like we somehow got robbed here. 
he's super close. Hmm. Well, How may I, serve? I don't know. I do not know. One. Two. Three. One. Did it. I can do that. Well, I'm not really sure what we did exactly, but we did it! Yay! Alright, assuming we don't all die in the horrible, horrible fire. I'm sorry, guys. My uh, lungs just don't seem to like me as of late. Every so often I'll go to inhale and start talking, and it's like, nope, you're gonna die, and it's gonna be horrible. I think we'll be able to just to walk. Ooh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Good to be back. I feel like that was silly. I still don't know how these work. Oh, maybe we can use those instead of just revitalizing the people, and then they would actually get more. Oh, that's better. Maybe that's how it works. So if somebody goes down like that, instead of just walking over and clicking on them, you can revitalize them so they come back into the fight with actual hit points as opposed to so weak. Could be the case. Alright, so we got through the first of the simple puzzles. We're about to go into the second of the simple puzzles. I don't know how this is going to play out. I imagine not well. Before you stands a group of pedestals. Some are lit while others remain dark. Oh, I heard Mafaril talking about this before. I believe it's a mechanism for turning off magical wards. I'm not sure how it works, though. But let's give it a try. Um, well, I suppose it can't hurt. Oh, this should be a snap. Uh-huh. Yes. I'm somehow doubting yes. that this is going to be a snap, I'm just saying. Of course. Alright, so I'm going to have to randomly luck my as way into wish. this as usual. I can do that. Okay, so if I do this, I do that one, then I do this one, right and then way. I do this one, it should be good. Sometimes, At folks. Once. Sometimes. Of course. I find my brain unconsciously does a lot of like traps and just puzzles oh, yeah. and things. Like, that one I saw, like, the last couple of moves, like, last three, I knew what I was doing. Before that, I was just like, alright, this is turning off this, this is turning off this, and then when I, once I know what I'm going to be doing, I realize, and I realize I did just go around the room, like, that's fine. But, yeah, yeah, my brain will oftentimes find and solve puzzles without me really committing too much thought to it. That wasn't really one of those times, 100%, I just kind of was there. And, right away. It more or less solved itself, right? Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a two-handed, it's a halberd. Oh, that looks really good, though. If we ever decide to switch over to a two-handed halberd, we are set, let me tell you. Oh, that's what, mechanically locked, it says? What does that even mean? It's locked by some sort of switch? Um, well, that also to me means that. At once. Do. do uh, is it possible to do the opposite? I don't think so. Well, that. that means to me there should be some sort of switch, lever, or a thing that we can touch, pull, or do something to or with. That should work. What can I do for you? Yeah, yeah. If you say so. Huh. Well, Sounds we may like end up missing out on whatever's in there, because I have no idea how to open it. And I'm not really going to look it up. 
to be honest. Whoa. Well, I suppose I could still walk around in like super secret stealth mode and sneak mode and all that. And, well, not sneak, but just exploration mode. Maybe we find a thing on the wall or something and be like, Bloo, and it just opens and everybody can rejoice. All right. I was under the impression that we weren't going to have to do anything like that, but. Oh, they're not moving. Because they were outside of that thing. Oh, no boy. No! Don't you melt your face. How may I serve? Or the face of your compatriots. As you wish. Like, it's so easy not to get hit by that. It's actually frustrating when you do. Yes. I do love yeah, yeah. a good enchantment. Right away. Who doesn't? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go over to the big door, and we're going to pretty much break off the episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, well, stick around the channel to be more to come. I think we're getting closer toward the end of this. I don't know. It still says Act 1. I don't know how many Acts there are. Maybe 2, 3, 10. I am not sure. But if nothing else, we're probably pretty close to ending Act 1, I'd have to assume. Either way, folks, it's tale for another time. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time with more Sword Coast Legends. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.